people, 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 I am just giving you guys a little drive through on Constant Spring Road, newly constructed, newly built over, thanks to you, Chinese government, the new government of Jamaica, people just kidding you. So anyway, what's popping in the news, what's popping in entertainment? We see that the Popo, we've been basically giving the Popo a very hard time for a very, very long time. And the truth and the fact is that it seems as if of lately they are making a lot of A-R-R-E-S-T. They are taking some very serious people in at the lockup. So we have to give credit where credit is due. Especially as it pertains to this latest incident in Montego Bay Where them basically catch a little W-A-N-T-E-D man And him friends So basically two people where them are look for And also an next person of interest And based on the information It is said that One of those persons Was involved in the Collymore slap away So people will say that That is a high profile case that it seems as if it is going to get solved even though a lot of persons were saying that they would have been happier if that person didn't get slapped away so therefore he could have testified on the person that basically initiated the whole conspiracy to M-U-R-D-E-R we are talking about the husband but anyway the fact is that he is gone we can't really do anything about that we have to just move forward and hopefully the DPP along with the Pope or them have other information that can implicate the husband in this slap away. So people, we have to commend the Pope when they are doing an excellent job. And so far, ending 2019 and early in 2020, we see that they have been doing a very good job, point blank and period. And the same can be said for the um, DPP of, uh, what's her name, Paula Llewellyn. She is also doing an excellent job because we saw that she got a C-O-N-V-I-C-T-I-O-N for Tesha Miller. So therefore, people, with all the effort with the people, and we are talking about the bloggers and the people in our society because we see that people are actually talking because people are fed up with the situation as it pertains to C-R-I-M-E, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling in Jamaica. People kind of get fed up, so we see that it is changing, things are changing for the better and it is always a good look. People may they in a half a tree right now for those of you that are from Jamaica or not from Jamaica or left Jamaica a very long time ago and don't remember what half a tree looks like. We just passed, where we they know? We are Springs Plaza and we passed Twin Gate Plaza and we are passing, where is Plaza your name again? I don't even know. So anyway, <coughs> we're in a half a tree, we're almost on the middle of half a tree, half a tree square. So I'm just going to go in a little preview of the place, I'm going to see the place for those of you that that been away from Jamaica for a very, very long time and kind of forget what the country looks like. We're there right now, we're in a half a tree square. On the right side there so is the transport center, bus center. On the left here, sir. JN Bank and then if you look like a forward we see the clock further down this van is blocking it but it's right there you're gonna see it very very soon so yeah people that is basically what is popping on YouTube right now and we see the disturbing trend that has been going on as it pertains to all of these men taking away their girlfriend because of jealousy and because them claims that the girl use them Whatever the case is, it is not justified. People, skate land on the right side, we just passed skate land. So the clock right is up on the left side. And I am sure anybody know anything about Alfred Tree, them often know about York Pharmacy. York Pharmacy is right there on the right side, right as, as I pass. So yeah, people, like me say, the latest thing is the little disturbing trend that is going on in Jamaica as it pertains to all of these women. But this video is mostly to make people kind of see Jamaica because I know that a lot of people have not been back to Jamaica. Enough people there, America gets stuck. Enough people basically busy with work and all this thing. They only get two weeks per year. And with that two weeks, they have other priorities. And Jamaica is not one of them. And also, 
a lot of people based on conversation that I've had on WhatsApp or upon the phone, a lot of people are scared to come back to Jamaica. So now with this renewed change that we see, we see some G U N M E N now a snitch from them friend we are talking about in the Tesha Miller case. We see that the key witness was also somebody that was a partner of his or one of his business associates, one of his persons that he conspired with for a lot of things in a Spanish town St. Catherine we are speaking as far as the clansman is concerned so people that is the latest on that you know what I mean and the next thing that I want to talk about is my appreciation for all the support that my channel has been getting I am speaking about this channel I am speaking about True Jamaica Buzz and also my next channel the Dancehall channel the views, the subscription, it has been overwhelming and I really appreciate it. I don't really talk about it too much, but you know what I mean? Nevertheless, I actually appreciate it. Because the truth and the fact is that I've been getting a lot of enough people are fighting me on YouTube. I mean, I don't talk about just the average person. I talk about some of the bloggers that you even know that are always out there and I talk about peace and unity and them wish this the best and that the best. They're a set of hypocrites. So anyway, this this video is about positivity and less about negativity so I'm not going to really dwell upon that you know what I mean? so yes people like myself with it in a half a tree a part two half a tree going towards crossroad right now and you know so you have to kind of careful when you're driving in Jamaica because these people drive like some mad bat out of hell so I just am going to get a little view upon Jamaica now you see we are in the Every part of the traffic we are talking about now, the 4.30, 5 o'clock bell when most people leave work, so they are going to buck up on some bumper to bumper traffic. So I kind of try to avoid this traffic. The only time I'm actually stuck in traffic is if I don't have no choice. You understand what I'm saying? If I don't have no other option. So that is why you're seeing me in traffic right now. And like I say, I'm headed towards Crossroad and then downtown. Go check some people, drop off some money for some people when we know where them kind of in a little jam. So, I just drive, go down there, and then shot back to my place. But I'm going to tell you which part that is. I think I made video of it before, but I am not going to tell you. You know what I mean? Code name, bad mind is active. Just kidding. So, anyway, people, let me just go on a little view of the place, Jamaica, the traffic thing, how it operates. How the place kind of bumper to bumper, and how the people them drive bad, you have a kind of aggish. You know what I mean? It's like a dog eat dog kind of situation. I guess that was causing a little delay, right? Just a little truck broke down right there lately. So, yeah, people, that are going on right now. You know what I mean? So, anyway, what else is popping on YouTube? What else is popping in the news entertainment? What else? Vibes cartel, little situation. We said the lawyer came out and make a little speech and said that they are expecting some kind of decision as it pertains to his appeal very soon. And of course, you know that we've been hearing that cartel is coming out from mid 2019 to 2020. We are hearing the same thing. A lot of clickbaiting because, like I said, the people are going to make them decision when they make their decision. And we have to just basically wait until that time and can't really force the process you understand we have to just hope for the best and just hope say, justice is served if he is indeed innocent which i think he is and which the evidence was kind of shaky at best i should expect our vice cartel and his fans they should expect a positive outcome point blank and period so people like we see with the right near um telephone company if anybody remember telephone company on the right here I remember as a little youth I used to live on the road down here Central Avenue or Central Road in a place called Ken, Ken Cut, which is coincidental that I am passing it right now as I speak I used to make some phone call right there so on phone boat people gone are those days when you make phone call from phone boat everybody have cell phone everybody have house phone Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blend we used to live right down here so Central Central Avenue or Central Road in a Ken Cut. So people, I am not from Uptown. 
Because I know some people might think so based upon the language and the speech rate lately. So, you used to have a little go go club up here. So, I remember as a little bad little boy, I used to sneak in at the club at one time. Security hold me and nearly beat me. <laughs> so, anyway, we're headed to Crossroad right now. So, I am going to give you a few more views and let you see crossroad and then me have a basically cut off the, 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 the camera and that's it you know what i mean owner see them not see oh see lucky you so anyway this is my version of live so i know people are saying that i should go live but people the truth and the fact is that i am a very private person i am a person that is very cautious not scared cautious and you know so the fact that i'm always talking about this Popo, oh, we are talking about these politicians and even worse, the people and we are slapping people. So I have to kind of careful. So I'm not going to go live and give out my, you know, what I mean, where I'm at my location. So that is one of the reasons why I don't really go live. So this is my version of live right now. So people want to catch me live and in living color. Uh, what is going on? Yeah. Bumbaras clot Sorry people Tell you so them people are drive like them crazy You see the man of the blue car nearly lick off the side of my car Bombard star See no star them people are drive like them depp and crack I mean I don't talk about just the young youth them I mean, I talk about even the old people and the man nearly tear the whole of the side of my car and never see it Watch me now, glasses. People are here, my man. I cut it off your side of me there. I cross out right now. So, so I kind of cut it off. You see my bob and I weave through the traffic and him care me drive him blind like a bat. So, no, so anyway, people, they are cross out right now. So, I cut it off. You see me? Bless up, bless up. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support. Bless.